Hi folks, welcome to another episode of The Listening Chair. I'm Colin Saunders. Today we're talking about the VPI Scout 21 and the Goldie Cartridge. Have you joined our Facebook group yet? The Listening Chair with Howard Neller group has over 12,000 followers and it's a place for audiophiles to share information and photos on their system and have friendly conversations with people who follow the same interests. Please check it out. So today we're talking about the VPI Scout 21 and the Goldie Cartridge. And this is the third and final video of this series. Uh, the first was an unboxing, and you can check out a link below. The second was setting up the VPI Scout 21 and Goldie Cartridge. And now I'm going to give you my listening impressions. Before we do that, let me talk about my supporting system. I have a QHW Audio The Vinyl. And that's being powered by a Teddy Pardo 35 volt DC external linear power supply. My amplifier is a Plinius Integrated, the Hautonga. It puts out about 200 watts per channel. All of my cables are Synergistic Research. I have the Foundation SX series, and I'm using the Phono cable, the speaker cable, and power cables from that series. My rack is a Solitec Rack of Silence, and for shelves I use Maple Butcher Blocks. My first listening impressions with this rig was very positive and actually reminded me of the first time I saw HDTV in a Japanese department store around 1998. Set beside standard definition TVs, the HDTV was like looking through a window and that was kind of the revelation I had between my Project 2 experience with Sumiko Bluepoint number 2. It was like going from standard definition to high definition and this is definitely a high definition audio device. Now, it should sound a lot better because it's about three times more expensive. When I bought this project with the upgraded cartridge, it was about 1500 US dollars at the time, whereas this VPI Scout 21 with the Goldie cartridge comes in at about 4600 US dollars. So you expect a substantial leap in performance for a substantial increase in investment, and you get it. This is the first turntable I've had in my system where I get why some people are so passionate about vinyl. When this thing arrived, I started spending hundreds of dollars on new vinyl because I needed to hear more and more and more. So after breaking this cartridge in a bit, the first place I started was Metallica and nothing else matters. So I thought, well, that's a mellower tune from Metallica, but it also has a ton of punch. Lars Ulrich's bass drums, his toms, the shimmer of his cymbals, the snap of his snare were just so prevalent, so, so alive. You know, they really came into my listening space and made me feel like the drum kit was right in front of me. Guitar parts were neatly layered behind James Hetfield's voice, and the bass lines were also clearly discernible. The soundstage was wide and deep, and it was clear where the players were in that physical space, really giving you a, kind of like a live performance in your listening room. I was also struck by the attack on the guitar strings and the, the overall balance of the whole production and, and the strings flowing across the top of the soundstage. You know, it's, it's easy to understand why Elton John said this is one of the greatest songs of all time. The Goldie kept up with pace and drive and just had me headbanging along with it. Either you've got that kind of live, alive sound or you don't. And this VPI Scout's got it in spades. The VPI Scout 21 and the Goldie plus Mofi's Van Halen 1 are a sublime combination. You'll hear distinct notes as he blasts through eruption in his finger tapping. You'll hear how he attacked strings from the edge to get that crunchy sound that he was famous for. The reverberation from the strings, it's just all there. Michael Anthony's bass is just so beautiful to hear and on the Mofi Van Halen 1 and with this turntable and cartridge combination, just beautifully defined. I haven't talked about vocals yet. I used Chesky's Volume 1, the world's greatest audiophile vocal recordings. This is probably going to glare on the camera, but I'll move it around hopefully so you can see it. This album does a beautiful job capturing the human voice and you're going to hear snippets of it a little later on. Vocals are an area where the VPI package really excels. 
so much humanity is conveyed by this combination of, of turntable and tone arm and cartridge. It's not just about hearing you know, lip smacking or breaths. It's, it's about the human behind those and them coming into your listening space and, and sharing it with you. It's really that kind of album and it's that kind of turntable. It really does m deliver magic. Criticisms? Not much. It wasn't long before I replaced the felt turntable mat that comes with the turntable with a cork one from 1877 Phono. And that made a big difference. So that's a recommended and really inexpensive thing that I think anyone with this turntable in mind, uh, either you've got it or you want it, and you should want it, invest in a cork turntable mat or a material of your choice. They don't have to cost a lot, but they do make a big difference. The other thing has to do with design of the gimbal that the tone arm hangs on. And as I showed you during the setup video, it's just a very, very fine steel point. That really minimizes contact between the plinth of the turntable and the arm, which is a big plus, but it makes the tone arm a little bit fiddly to position it uh, at the either beginning of a record, or especially if you're trying to land on a quiet spot between tracks. It's inherent in the design of the tone arm, and it's not a bad thing, it's just something to be aware of and something to get used to. Also, there's a big bolt sticking out of the bottom of the turntable plinth, and that holds the bearing that the platter spins on. If that's the kind of thing that bothers you, then it's probably gonna bother you that you can see that big bolt. It doesn't bother me, and it's something that you don't even notice after a little while, but if it does bother you, maybe put something in front of it. Aesthetically, it's a nice design. The finish is pretty basic. It's well done, but it's just a basic black. I do love, though, the, the sheen, the glow of the aluminum platter and uh, the motor housing. They, they add a nice high-class touch to the whole thing. Needless to say, I thoroughly enjoyed the VPI Scout 21 and Goldie Cartridge combination. It's a superb vinyl reproduction system. It's well worth the money VPI asks for it, and it comes with my highest recommendation. If you never understood what vinyl was all about, listen to one of these, then you'll know. Thanks for watching. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Less than one million. I never thought through love we'd be making one as lovely as she. But isn't she lovely? Isn't she pretty? Mm. Truly the angel's best. Boy, I'm so happy. We have been everlast. I can't believe what God's done. Through us, he's given life to one. But isn't she lovely? Maybe